reunited Nelly and Ashanti, and Black Twitter takes off. Ashanti is deserving of victory, particularly considering the humiliation she must have endured when Irv Gotti revealed strange and improper facts of their connection on his bet documentary The Murder, Inc. story a year prior. However, Ashanti's admirers were unable to get enough of the R&B singer when they went out together over the weekend. It was rapper and ex-boyfriend Nelly. The two went to the Fox Theater in Atlanta, Georgia, for Quality Control Records founder Pierre P. Thomas's third annual birthday celebration. Ashanti and Nelly were a charming pair in the 2000 seconds who dated until 2013. This is not only adorable to see, but it also makes Ashanti feel better because she has had a difficult year. Irv Gotti, the former boyfriend and label executive of The Foolish Singer, repeatedly attacked her, as I previously revealed. He would not stop talking about Ashanti during an August visit on Drink Champs. He even shared his feelings about seeing Ashanti and Nelly together on television. In an episode of The Murder, Inc. story, Gotti described how he first became romantically involved with the R&B singer, mentioning a late-night studio session in which he took Ashanti home. Remember that he was still married at the time, but he and his former spouse Debbie Lorenzo were no longer together. All of Gotti's time during the documentary, which was meant to chronicle the ups and downs of Murder, Inc., records, was spent thinking back on Ashanti. During her October guest appearance on Angie Martinez's podcast, IRL, Ashanti discussed her connection with Gotti in great detail. She said that she felt forced to be with him, comparing it to manipulation.